Hello everyone, this is Julie Kay here and I just have a quick thrift store haul to show you. Um, all the items I have today are more junk journal related than they are like stamping and card making and flip book making. So um, just so you guys know that it's like I said, just more junk journal stuff. And this was the first thing that I found um, and I only paid a buck for it. Um, and actually today green tags were 50% off. So I only paid 50% for all these cute little doilies and I kind of figured either I'll leave it as is, maybe use it to re-gift something, um, to wrap it around a junk journal, or I might take it apart um, on the little seams and use each doily separately. I just thought that was a great deal for 50 cents. Um, and it's a little bit older, it's aged in some spots, so I'll probably try and um, hand wash it and just see where I'm at with it. Um, so I'm not sure. It's a little bit darker around here if that's just stained or if that's just normal aging. So I'll just hand wash it and see see what happens. So that was my first item that I found. The next item um, that I was really excited about is in the in this basket. I paid 50 cents for this little basket that I'll probably alter and redo. Um, but I did find lots of um, Rick rack and also some vintage seam binding and they only charged me 10 cents a package for them um, so I thought that was a great deal and they're they're really old ones you can even see on some of them they have the old old prices on them um, like for instance this one was only 15 cents 15 cents way back when um, but I also think even just having the the trim or whatever, it, it'll be fun to use the little pieces, um, the packaging in there on some junk journals for different things. So I found um, one, two, three. So I got, I believe it was six of these little Rick Rack ones. They had more, but they were brighter colors and I just kind of picked out more of the vintagey looking, looking col colors. But again, she only charged me 10 cents for, um, or the thrift store only charged me 10 cents each for each of those packages. Then the other th thing I found was some old old seam binding. Some of them had a quarter on them and some had 10 cents. But she only charged me 10 cents for everything because she said that they've been in the in the basket for a long time and they just wanted to get rid of them. So um, she only charged me 10 cents each. So this one is like a bright red. Um, this is more of a kind of apricot peachy color. And again, I think some of the... Some of the packaging I'll be able to reuse, but this one is a darker green, and that one was only 15 cents way back when. Um, kind of a pretty teal color. This one's kind of a peacock one. I really, really like this one. And it's a purple. And this one was just a partial one, but it's pink. Kind of a gold color. And this one was kind of a blue-gray, blue-gray color, but for 10 cents each, that's you know, hardly anything, in my opinion. And like I said, green tags were half off, so this one was originally 25 cents, but I didn't have to pay much for it. And all it is is just um, pieces of satin, just remnants, but there's a lot of bigger pieces in there, and I thought it'd be fun to try to make some of those little shabby chic flowers and just use um, some of the scraps in here for that. It was enough to, to be able to play around and not have to make a huge investment in it. So that's what I plan on using with that. Um, and then just some items to put inside my junk journals. I did find an old like address and phone directory thing. And again, um, all green tags were 50% off. So I only paid a quarter for this one. And I just figured I could incorporate that somehow into a couple of my junk journals down the road. They also had flashcards and again, 50 cents originally, but I only paid a quarter for it. So I picked those up too. I just, whether I cover them with some paper and remake them into tags or just leave as is, I don't, don't know yet. Um, but I figured that was a good deal. They also sell cards there for a quarter each. And so I just picked this one up. It's just kind of a vintage looking one and I was going to use it somehow in a junk journal. I'll probably cover up this part of it, the wedding wish. Um, but I like that you got the envelope with it and then also this little pocket thing. 
And again, it has a little saying on there, but I'm going to somehow cover it up when I put it into my junk journal. Um, just because it is wedding themed. At the one thrift store, they only charge um, a quarter for books. And so I picked up some, because I want to do a like kind of a vintage bird bird one in the road and I've been starting to collect down the road I've been starting to collect a few um, odds and ends and going through my paper stashes and stuff but for a quarter this one had all the Audubon birds and a lot of times you can find some of the royalty free images for the Audubon stuff but I thought that was a good deal for a quarter that I'll be able to kind of use some of the pictures in there if I want of the birds um, again same with this one was they only charged me for a quarter for it, but Bird Friends. And again, there's a lot of good pictures in there of the birds that I'll be able to incorporate into tags or pockets or whatever I decide to do for my junk journal. And this one was another quarter book, um, How to Know the Birds. And I was excited about this page. My husband and I do um, wildlife bird surveys, breeding bird surveys in this time of year, actually. And these are three of the birds that we hear out in the grasslands in North Dakota. So um, they had some old, kind of more vintage looking pictures of those birds. Um, so I was excited about that book. And then the other great deal that I found, and it'll take me a minute to, to move it over here, was they did have all their Reader Digest books. Um, only 10 cents each because they wanted to get rid of them. So I'll try and zoom out here. But, and then I can't get the whole box in. But I bought quite a few just because they were only 10 cents each. Um, but they all had kind of, this was my favorite one of the, of the group. They had um, covers like this on them. And I wanted to do an altered book junk journal, a botanical theme one down the road. So this is going to be the book that I'm going to use for that. And I'll probably just figure out some way just to cover up the spine of it. Um, and some of these books were like from the 40s and 50s. Um, but they all seem, most of them seem pretty pretty good condition. And I'll just pick out a couple more to, to show you from that, from that different collection just to look at the, kind of what they look like there. Um, so that was another one of them. You know, they got a little bit more wild looking covers too that one um, just see what else this one was a red one this one was kind of a lighter colored one but I thought it was kind of pretty it has little stars in it and I thought this one might be make a nice like Christmas one possibly down the road so um, but there's quite a few different patterns, and I had a hard time resisting when they were only 10 cents each. So, um, that was my kind of little thrift store haul for junk journaling, and thanks everybody for watching. I hope you all have a great day.